Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. I have been MIA, missing in action. Let me get my wine up in here. <sighs> it's been crazy. It's literally, it's literally been fucking crazy. The last four weeks have been a fucking roller coaster. Not to mention like what took place yesterday um you know at you know who's rally like it's so much shit i have to get into guys i i i really have to get into it so i'm back let where do i start i mean i need a glass of wine for this shit so i was talking to a guy i liked um and that didn't work out. He was a fucking asshole. So that sucked. <laughs> then I lost my cousin. He passed away. Then um, I kind of sort of had a mental breakdown, I guess, in a way. <laughs> so that happened. And yeah, so I'm here. Um, I'm also going to be doing an unboxing. I brought one of my prime, oh shit, wrong way. One of my prime boxes to unbox with you guys is I wanted to unbox today so you guys can see what I ordered from my house. But yeah, it's just, it's really been a really crazy four weeks for me. Um, I know I haven't done a video and I sincerely apologize, guys, but it, it's some things are going to be changing. So let me get right into it. Okay, so I am going to move the show. I'm going to move my videos to Sundays and it's going to be every other Sunday. <laughs> Because I need a break. I need a mental break. It's just too much shit. Too much shit is going on. And I need a break. So, instead of me trying to do it every week. And on Fridays, I'm going to move it to Sundays. It's going to be every other Sunday. So, I'm uploading this video. And then next week, I will have a video. And then it will start the following week. So there won't be a video the following week um, because that's going to start the every other week schedule for me, just so you guys know. So I hope that's clear. So I'm uploading a video. Next week, I'm uploading a video. I have to upload that video for next week because it's going to be a surprise and a whole bunch of stuff is happening for that video and then the following week it won't be a video so it's not because i disappeared again but it's because i am doing every other sunday because i'm moving into sunday and i'm doing every other sunday video uploads that's what that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put it on my calendar for you guys okay there we go <sighs> okay so back to these boys so, I don't know about y'all, but this has been a roller coaster. So, me and the ex have been separated for, what, a year now, I believe? Give or take, yeah, like a year. So, you know, the first couple of months, it was very difficult for me. I was, like, trying to find myself, trying to figure out what I wanted to do, what I wanted to focus on. And then I started like meeting friends and making all these new friends, which I love my friends. I have a ton of new friends, which I'm so excited for and happy for all my new friends. But I can't seem to like, you know, get anyone serious that not even like where I want to make them a boyfriend. But it's just like I just want someone that can give me like their time and put in effort and get to know me and just be like loving and supportive but like not a boyfriend if that makes sense <laughs> so that's why i'm trying to find y'all and it's just been crazy it is driving me crazy so i'm trying to take a break right now from the whole dating scene because it's clearly not working so i'm trying to take a break And I'm just hoping that it gets better. 
But yeah, I was talking to this guy and we got into it. I'ma tell y'all the story. I'ma tell y'all the tea. I'ma tell y'all some of the tea. So we got into it most recently the last week is when we finally kind of like separated. And I want to know what y'all opinion is because I'm finna talk to my viewers because I need some advice. So he originally, this is how it started. Originally his friend who's white was playing some music that had the N word in it. Yeah, I'm finna, yeah, I'm finna put all the tea. He was playing some music that was not appropriate to be playing, especially since the guy that I was talking to was white also. And then his friend was white. So they were playing that music while I was on the phone. So, you know, I had to uh, let my opinion be no. Don't be playing that shit. It's not, you shouldn't be playing that. And I don't care what the fuck y'all do in y'all own time, but you're not going to play this stuff in my presence, like while I'm on the phone, right? Okay, so I have the right to be mad, right? Because I am of a different complexion than they are. So I have the right to get mad for the usage of that word, right? Okay, right. So he comes back and tries to say, oh, well, my friend was just joking, blah, blah, blah. He didn't mean anything about it. Oh, it, it's not like that. And I'm like, okay, well, that may be the case. But, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to multitask here. People blowing me up. And I told him I'm trying to record. So, I told him, like, that's not okay. It should not be okay to use that language. I don't condone any type of racism at all. Period. I don't care who it is. I don't care what they did. It's not tolerated from me. So, I get very offended when I hear words and i see people acting in a toward in a towards or towards people in a racist way i am going to speak on that i'm not going to let the shit fly it's unacceptable so that's what i was doing i was voicing my opinion about it so then he's trying to make up excuses about his friend and what the hell he was doing and why he was playing the damn song and then he was like oh yeah like when they had went fishing the the weekend before or days before, he had played this shit before. So he had, this is not the first time the dude played the song. This was like the second, third time, or however many times playing the damn song. So I'm like, if you already told him supposedly that he shouldn't be playing that shit and then he played it again and while I was on the phone, bitch, we got a fucking problem. Because why the fuck do you think that it's okay for you to play this type of music when... You know damn well your friend is talking to someone of that descent. You know, like, that doesn't make any sense. So, I got upset about it. And I voiced my opinion about it. And then I dropped it. I was done. After that day, I was done. I was moving on. Whatever. So, then the next day, he decides not to fucking message me at all. I'm like, okay, is there something going on? Because... You didn't message me at all. And normally, he will message me and be like, good morning, beautiful. And all this stuff that was, like, really nice. You know, because we were getting to know each other. We've been talking for, like, three or four months. So, we were getting, I thought we were getting closer. But clearly, that wasn't the fucking case. He was a fucking ba bastard. So... I ask him, like, what is the problem? What's going on? So he's like, oh, well, you making it a big deal about, you know, what his friend had did and you keep bringing it up. And I'm like, excuse me, I didn't fucking bring it up. You the one that's bringing it up. I squashed it the day before when I told you how I felt about it. It was done. I moved on. I wasn't holding it against you. But since you want to bring it up again... We're going to talk about it again. Because if you bring the shit and you want to come for me, you better have receipts. That's all I'm saying. So we get into it again. And then I thought it was squashed then. And then it's like he gets pissy with me again. Because I'm voicing my opinion about how I feel about it. You the one that fucking brought it up talking about that I 
was bringing it up and talking about it. And I just asked what the problem was. Like, why he was, you know, acting different from the day before. And I said, I know it's not because of the situation that happened because that was already handled. We already squashed that and we never had a fight. Like this is the first time we kind of had a tit for tat or whatever. I wouldn't even call it a fight because we weren't arguing. We really weren't arguing. All we were doing was just talking. So, and we were just, it was just a heated talk. It wasn't like a screaming match like I had with my fucking ex. So, I thought it was handled, but it wasn't handled and... Long story short, he decided to unfollow me because I said something about how I feel like he's being an asshole because the following day, well, I think it was a day or two days later, I had asked him, I said, okay, so when are we going to hang out? Because this is, this was after I had got back from my family's funeral that I had to go to. And then I was gone, so we couldn't hang out because I was at a funeral. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, wake the person up because they did? Like, make it make sense. So I think he was pissy about that. And then I get back in town, and I'm like, okay, we can hang out or whatever. And he's like, not trying to hang out. And I'm like, okay, well, whatever. You know, I'm not going to force it. You know, you don't want to hang out, fine. You don't even got to fucking hang out with me because I'm not going to beg anybody fucking hang out with me. So then... Um, I tell him, I'm like, okay, so why is it that you can make time for other people, but you can't make time for me when I want to hang out? Like his parents come over, his parents would keep coming over, which is so fucking annoying. His stupid best friend, who is a fucking jackass, kept showing up out of nowhere at his house. And I'm like, I don't even show up at your house unannounced. But he, I mean, I guess, is he the best friend he can? Like, this is bullshit. So I didn't say all of that, but I was just saying, like, you make time for other people. That's what I was trying to initiate is that I feel as though he was neglecting me a bit because he wasn't making time for me, but he was making time for other people. So then he is going to come back and say this shit, y'all. He's going to try to say, I was trying to be clingy. And I said, hold, that's where, you know, I fucking went to fuck. I was just seeing red after that. I said, let me tell you something. I'm not fucking clingy because if i went a whole week and a half without hanging out with you how the fuck am i clingy I explain that explain how you go a whole week yeah we chatted but that's it we didn't do anything else we didn't hang out we knew nothing and i fucking didn't care the only reason why i cared is because he said that he had just hung out with his friend again and i'm like okay damn like you can hang out with him but you can't make time for me so then yeah i did feel some type of way because you constantly saying that you hanging out with this best friend quote unquote but you can't fucking hang out with me who you say oh i really like you blah 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 like make it make sense y'all so, I fucking popped off, you know, I probably shouldn't have, but I called him a fucking ass, I said, fuck you, you know, you don't have to worry about me fucking messaging you, because I don't need this shit, and then that's how I kind of left it, and I guess he was mad, and then he unadded me, he literally unadded me, like I was in the wrong, how am I in the wrong, and you the one that's fucking blaming me for your friend saying some inappropriate shit, fucking getting mad because I'm asking to hang out with you because you making time for everybody else and then fucking calling me fucking needy like bitch I don't fucking need you so yeah so I fucking went off on him so we haven't chatted since it's been like a whole week and I've been fucking angry the whole fucking week because I'm thinking okay he was just gonna take a break calm down we both calm down you know, come back and have a civilized conversation about my feelings and his feelings, clearly. Because he got some feelings that I was hurt. And we could have moved on. But no, this bitch is going to unad me, y'all. Oh, I'm like, okay. Okay, bitch. Go ahead and do you. That's why he got all that shit going on with him. But anyways, so that's what I've been dealing with. That fucking headache. 
in itself. And I mean, he was, he seemed like a nice guy, but it's just, it's so many frauds out here. So many people pretending to be something or pretending that they want something and then doing something else and then saying one thing and then your actions are showing something different. I can't stand that shit. Like if you say something, then be about it and showcase it and be actionable. I don't want you to say shit and then do other shit. That shit pisses me the fuck off so much. Like, y'all can hear it in my voice. I'm so fucking livid about this. But, yeah, so that was one of the situations that I was dealing with. Then my cousin, unfortunately, had passed away. Rest in peace, Jimmy. Love you always. Um, And I had to go down there and deal with that. And it was just really traumatic. And I didn't really cry at the funeral. I don't really cry at funerals, but I felt some type of way after I got back in town. When I got back up, when I got back home, I started feeling some type of way. I started feeling some type of way towards everybody. So then I started distancing distancing myself from everyone, my friends, you know, the guy that I was talking to, family, everybody. Because I just, I didn't know how to, re- I didn't know how to deal with everything that was going on. So I'm trying to process this shit and then I'm not really in therapy no more, which I need to get back into therapy, but I'm working on that y'all because y'all know I'm a hundred thousand percent supporter for fucking therapy. Everybody needs it. And then I was dealing with stuff with my sisters and my cousins and them fighting and not getting along. And it's just been, this just been a mess. Okay. It's just been a fucking mess. And I just pray to God that he just, ooh. He work on everything, but enough about all that drama. So time for my unboxing, guys, because <laughs> I'm running out of time and I need, and it's fucking hot up in this damn fucking room. So, oh shit, I don't even think I got anything to open this up with. Okay, let me see. Ugh, fuck. I'm going to have to use my strength, y'all, to bust open this damn box. Okay, I got the box open. Let me show y'all what I ordered from my house. Okay. I really feel like this is very helpful. Everybody should have one. And I already have one of these, but I ordered another one. So, yep, I got this beautiful camera. It's so awesome. I love this one. I I already have one, like I said. It has a night vision. It has, like, the motion detection. It holds up to 512 gigabytes. You can get this on Amazon, as you can see. It's by Tapo. It's, It's, and you can talk through it. And um, it's a two-way audio. It has night vision. It customized block zones. It even has an alarm system. It's so awesome. I love it. So I definitely recommend it um, if you guys need a, a at-home camera. So I will show that to you guys just so you can see it and then pick pick one out for your house. So I, I love this because I was trying to get a ring camera but we can't install one because our HOA won't let us. So they're fucking assholes. But anyways, this will help uh, with my security for my house. And I, like I said, I already have one that records everything outside of the house. And then this one will be on my other side of my house or inside of my house or wherever I decide to put it. So that's awesome. But... That's just been the logist of it, guys. And I just want to thank you guys so much. It's hot in my studio right now. I don't know what's going on with the fucking air, but I need to go and check on that. And check on my cat because he's probably tearing up something. But I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Your boy will be back, like I said, next week. And I have a surprise for you guys. So can't wait. Bye for now.